Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome to our very first video of Inktober 2017. This is Simon Blaze and Pedro Blaze from Blaze Manga. This year seems to be very promising so far and we are very excited to be partaking in this challenge. Inktober! Woo! Inktober! So let's get right to it. So we want to start by saying what Inktober is and why we are participating. So Inktober was created by Jake Paca in 2009 as a challenge to improve his own inking skills and to develop positive drawing habits. It has since grown into a worldwide endeavor with thousands of artists taking on the challenge every year. Yes, we copied that from the website. So why are we doing Inktober? Yeah, that's a very good question. Well, first of all, I want to improve my inking speed I know myself and I know that every time I ink something I take way too long. This is probably the part that takes the longest when I draw. And Pedro thinks it's the most tedious part? It is very tedious. For yeah, because part. for example when we start do doing a live drawing, all the sketching is going well, the pencils are going well, but then we start inking and everybody leaves. Yeah, yeah, that happens. True story. True story. <laughs> Anyway, why else, why else? So yeah, I wanted to improve my inking speed and I think it's been getting better so far. Also, you need to be more disciplined, right? Yeah, so this challenge should help me be more disciplined. I'm hoping that I'm gonna be able to become more disciplined, not, not just because it's ink, but it's because it's requiring me to do one drawing per day. So I, ha I have to do the drawing per day. It's not something I can skip. Although I have been busy sometimes and I have to do two drawings the next day, but that's the thing as long as I do them I'm able to complete my task and I get myself a cookie. Also, as you can notice, we're not doing regular uh, Inktober pieces. We're actually doing manga panels from our manga Iridescent in a way that forces Pedro to advance in our manga as well. Yeah, and that was reason number three why we are participating. We didn't only want to participate in Inktober, we also wanted to advance in our manga, which we are very well aware that it is long overdue. Yeah. So we need to get this out as soon as possible because we love you guys, we want to we present this to you. I think you all are going to love this story, the art. So what better way to keep going on the manga while taking on this challenge? Just get both of them and combine it into one. And it's worked so well so far. So we're gonna keep doing that every year until we, until we get the manga out. <laughs> no, we're gonna make it the manga out. Hopefully by next year. <laughs> no, don't, don't make any promises. <laughs> All right, yeah, don't make any promises, but we're gonna get the manga out eventually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so reason number four was to uh, just overall better myself in my art and inspire others to become better because by making awesome art, I can let everybody know, hey, I wasn't always this good. You can also be this good. If like you try. You, if you try, yeah. If Challenge number one. So guys, we wanted to start in Tover with a bang. So for the, the very first challenge, the team was Swift. Swift. And we could have done the clever thing and draw a portrait of Taylor Swift. But we didn't go that route. Because we're not stupid. stupid. <laughs> <laughs> So this very first piece was important, very important to us. Like Simon said, Simon says, we want to start with the bang. So we started with the bang. So for this very first piece, uh, we show the character of Shudder. Yeah, Shudder is our main character in our manga. He has very unique powers. He is really agile and kind of fast character. So he's swifting here. Yeah, he's dashing towards you and he was just the perfect character for this. Uh, it portrays the idea very well. Yeah, Swift. So we like it, and uh, it was awesome because we already had the storyboard for this panel, and this is one of the hardest thing of drawing, thinking of a pose and thinking of an idea. So we already have all the first saga of our manga laid out in in storyboards, and it is actually a really really good idea to have to do that if you're interested in doing manga because you want to see what it's going to look like you want to see how it's going to flow before you actually start drawing the pages and to our advantage because we have most of the story worlds already finished what well, all that we need to do for this challenge is to match the theme of the day with a panel from our manga yep. which in a way was a challenge itself itself but we overcame that challenge because we are awesome Challenge number two. Day two. Day two. The team was divided. And we were gonna do a drawing of America. <laughs> we were gonna do something very patriotic. Actually, no. We were gonna do think something about, I don't know, America. 
and how we are all divided, but that was a little too dark and we think we would have just backlashed, so we decided to go for a surfer route. And that's coming from a guy that drew Hurricane Harvey and Irma as oh, anime villains. Oh guys, yeah, so I drew Hurricane Harvey and Hurricane Irma as evil manga characters. I, I don't know, it was just an idea that came to my head, I thought it was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. But anyway, on Divide, we have this, arc, this character, this character is named Renu. And even with the story wars, this pose was a little bit hard because it's a different angle than what I worked with before. And applying the perspective was a challenge on its oh own. Oh yeah. And I struggled a lot with the face. You can probably see in these images that uh, I started with one face. I thought it was pretty good. Uh, Simon said, Simon says, do it again. So I had to do it again because Simon says so. So I did it again, it came out alright and I still didn't like it so I just did it again until something came out better. I tried different takes, tried different poses, like one of them one of them was squinting the eyes, another one maybe was, had an, was kind of winking with an eye, I don't know, squinting. The final one is the one that I think works the best and I'm happy the way it came out. Also the perspective was a little odd at first, but then I, I fixed it. The feet look way too small compared to the plug in the background. Mm -hmm. So we had to fix that, we had to do it again. I, ha I think I had already inked that part. I had already inked it and I just had to erase it and do it again. And that's the good thing about doing this challenge, you challenge you, for lack of a better word, to do it better, to do better. Yep. And as you can see throughout the challenge, we're gonna, Pedro is gonna struggle with some faces. Spoiler, don't tell him. Okay, okay, so let's go to day three. Day three! The theme for day three was poison. And poison. we had the perfect character for this as well. Poison Ivy! Oh, <laughs> no, okay, yeah. Oh, wait, wait. So we have a character that has poison abilities. He is a specialized infiltrating unit for our evil organization. I wouldn't say evil, I would say to the, for the antagonist organization. Yeah, antagonist. They're not, in their heads, they're not doing evil, they're just doing what they need to do to save the world i wouldn't say save the world just they have a leader and they follow what he says they, yeah i guess well he has a better idea how to improve the world life itself okay i wanted to continue advancing on the manga so i decided to continue working on characters from manga that's why i did this character his name is spiky code name is spiky we don't know <laughs> what his real name is we don't know his real I, name i don't think we have ever given him a real name we just know his last name yeah but spoiler alert okay so we went with one post from what I had originally on the storyboard. I thought it looked good, it was it was okay, but I thought maybe I could make it better. So I, I hit that layer and I tried it again. Completely different pose, just to see what else, uh, how, how it could look. And, and it turned out pretty good. Turned pretty out good. pretty good. Yeah. Maybe the head's a little big, but we can fix that later. Overall, I like this character design a lot better because the original character is I went a little different and you make mild changes. I think they turn out for the best. Oh yeah. And they look better, so we need to go back and change the character in the other, other panels. Yeah. At least the design, but... So I like this. Day 3 was pretty good. Um, for day 4... Day 4! The theme was underwater. And luckily, we have a scene of a character that's underwater. Yeah, as soon as we saw underwater on the challenge, we knew exactly what we are gonna do. We have this character that uh, has water manipulating abilities, but he... There's a twist to it, but you'll find out later when you read the manga. I think this this one came out really well. The angle is perfect, and it's a very different take because it's not just water. It's not someone, just a random guy underwater. There's also fire going into the water. So yeah, it's like fire underwater. It's just... It was a cool take that we had to use. Yeah, the scene needed uh, the fireball from underwater because you have another character in the scene shooting the fireballs so day five day five the theme was long it was a long theme <laughs> uh, bad one. so i didn't want to just make a long character because that was that sounded kind of lame and some people will do like a long staff or a long sword or a long nose yeah or, or something long about someone but yeah. i didn't want to just make something someone long or something on something long so i decided to make the environment about long so we see this limo i decided to draw this limo with our character our main character going walking towards it and of course the limo is long but also the, the angle that i chose it seems wide and it seems long like the limo is far from the character so he has to walk a long distance and i just think it works perfectly for the theme of long in so many different levels so i like that too yep and they uh, this so you can see this limo it it's it's gonna take me a while i actually didn't know how to make a car because reflections 
are very difficult to draw, especially in ink. And uh, but I study a picture that I saw, and I think it's coming out pretty good. But I I just feel like I need to make it better. I like the shot a lot. Yeah, I like the shot too. But it looks the limo, really like, cinematic. Yeah, the, the reflection on the limo is the only thing I don't like. I worked on these wheels for like an hour, and then on the final piece you can barely see it. But it's okay. The little details. Little details make the world better. Day six. So for day six, we have our character Tyrese again. Yeah. And he is a, a user of a sword, but it's kind of like a sword stick because... It's an electric sword. It has a twist to it. Yeah, it has a twist. And that was a twist we were not going to spoil and you just did. Well, then they don't know. Well, anyway, so he, this is his sword and we chose to do this pose because it was part of a manga and we want to continue advancing our manga. And... This guy uses this stick as a sword, of course, because that's just his fighting style, his fighting technique. And I really like like how this one came out. I lo love the perspective, I love how cool he looks, he just looks like, like a total badass. I mean, I badass. Tyrese is a cool character to begin with, but just adding that staff sword really adds a lot to his personality, reflects his personality as well. Yeah. So I, I really like this one. Yeah, um, I like how the inking came out on the hair. I really like doing the hair on this character. It just makes him look so awesome. And uh, the Japanese onomatopoeia, that's probably not going to stay. We just did it because it kind of looks cool. Well, we can unless we do a Japanese version of the manga, which we should. Yeah, we're going to have a Japanese translation of the manga. And we're going to have the Japanese onomatopoeia. But for the English one, it's going to be in English. Yeah, for the English one, it's going to be in English. And we actually, this background is not going to be the actual background on the, pa on the panel. But we just uh, did it like this because we didn't have time to work on the background at the moment. Especially because we still don't know how it's gonna look. Yeah, we need to, decide, we need to decide, design it. We too. need to design it. We need to sit down and do some concept art about the, how the background is gonna look because it's something very special. Oh yeah, oh yeah. All right, day seven. For day seven, the theme is shy. Yeah, so day seven. Wait, wait, it's, it's, it was shy? Shy. <laughs> <laughs> so we don't have many shy characters in our manga. I don't know. Maybe we should have one, but we don't have any any shy characters at the moment. But romantic encounters always make people blush a little and act shy, and we do have a lot of that. Exactly. So we decided to make our character as she had just walked away from a boy she likes, and she became shy. She was being shy. She was yeah. being shy about it. Yeah. Yeah. So we see her kind of giggling. The expression took a couple of attempts too. I just wanted to make sure it looked cute and shy. But not, not only, sorry, not only the expression, but the pose took several yeah, attempts too. Yeah, the pose. Yeah, the angle that I chose. I had chosen this pan, this this angle for this panel to try to enhance the emotion her character feels. I think this angle kind of just puts her in a in a I don't know like a nervous stage. Yeah. And I it, like like Simon was saying the. Uh, Pose took several tries. I thought maybe I could do a, a, a perspective angle, but it just wasn't working. So I had to try it several times, and it took me a while to get this one down, but I finally got it. So that's it for the first seven images, the first seven art pieces. We want to make sure that all of our art pieces look just as good as the first seven. Uh, I think we're going in the right direction. I really like how all of this is coming out. We are excited to be working on our manga while we take on this challenge, so we kill two birds at once. Yeah, week one was pretty productive, Actually, I would say. We, we don't kill them. We resurrect them. Yeah. We make them. <laughs> no, like I was saying, week one of October was re a really productive week. And I love this challenge because it's challenging. It's making us being way more productive. It's than forcing us to be more productive. Yeah. At the end of the month, we're going to be so much more advanced in our manga than we were before, of course. So it's going to be a super productive month for us. Oh, yeah. Oh, and yeah. it's also my birthday month, so be, say, be sure to send me some gifts my way. But you don't know where I live, and I'm not going to tell you, so forget about that. <laughs> okay, let us know if you're taking on the Inktober challenge and your motivations, or even if you don't have a reason, just... And you just like draw, doing it because you like ink. Just let us know. In the comment section of this video. So hope you like this video. Let us know what you think of our pieces. Let us know if we are doing this right. If we're choosing the right idea, the right images for the specific themes. <laughs> we appreciate all your feedback, guys. Thank you so much for watching our video. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. Make sure you follow us on Facebook, Instagram. Uh, we have a page on each for the 
manga and we also have our personal pages which you're more than welcome to follow we don't have it private it's free to follow we do live stream on facebook every week and yeah. we try to do live streams on youtube every week but most people watch them on facebook yeah. anyway and all this art is also going to be published in instagram uh, instagram in all in our personal and manga instagrams so thank you for watching oh by the way we'll have a patreon if you yeah, want to support also us we also have a patreon where we can send you awesome stickers and more rewards like PD, psd files and posters if posters you're higher a higher tier yeah even a t-shirt if you pay like 30 bucks something like that <laughs> we have different <laughs> levels of tiers so if that's something you would like to do and support us just go ahead and become our patreon we would highly appreciate that but anyways guys thank you so much for watching this video of inktober week one uh, we're gonna post a video every week and he will show your progress on the inktober challenge Woo! So thank you again for watching this video and we'll see you on the other side. Bye. Hi Inktober douchebags. This is Amon and Pedro Blaze from Blaze Mega. And we're doing Inktober this year because we are douchebags just like you. Everybody's a douchebag. Everybody's a douchebag. Douche nugget.